Okay, the Vatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video from this coming at you live from the West Coast yet again, San Jose, California. So I just wanted to share with you guys and wanted to, you know, give my own two cents on this new coolant system that Harley is introducing with the 121's uh, VVT CVOs. So it's pretty much the same as, uh, well, not necessarily how it works, but the passages on the heads is pretty much the same as your limited. So if you know how limited works, uh, let's just look at that real quick. Like I said, you could check out this video on my TikTok page. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to pause this, but um, this is uh, pretty much, like I said, still the same passage of the cooling of the heads. So the system overall, it's not like, of course, your, your regular, oil cooled sorry liquid cooled uh import or whatever kind of like my uh metric my metric bike the cooling is different the passages is different it's more of you know the cylinders and the heads this system is just uh the heads so you guys can see that uh the coolant actually goes through the rear cylinder first and then it moves its way towards the front so you're probably wondering why it's because the rear cylinder is the one that gets hot the rear cylinder is the one that doesn't get the airflow or it doesn't get as much airflow as the front. So if, if you've known Harleys for a while, you know the rear cylinder is always 20 to 30 degrees hotter than the uh, than the front cylinder. My uh, Sportster, I have a PowerVision, a DinoJet PowerVision on it. And the, my rear cylinder temp sometimes hits, you know, 420 degrees. So, which is, you know, pretty hot if you, of course, if you had... A, a liquid cooled system then that would bring the temperature down and another key uh, detail as well is the rear cylinder is the one that's right underneath the rider so if you're able to cool down that rear cylinder or that rear head then you're bringing the comfort level of the rider you know it's just it's, it's just better because uh, like i said you don't have that heat coming from that rear cylinder towards the rider yes there's heat deflectors that you could get that's gonna help out, but having, of course, a liquid cooled system like this, where it goes through the rear cylinder first, will also benefit, you know, not only in performance and the cooling of, of the engine, but uh, the rider is also gonna benefit. And you could see that it's also a, um, a fan assisted uh, system on this, which is, you know, pretty good. It's, you know, it's a plus. It's also an electric pump, kind of like, like I mentioned, the, the limited models. Yes, it's only one radiator, on the uh, limiteds you have two radiators and that's in your lowers so you can see there's uh there's also a overflow or an overfill on the top that's you know that's just from something that i noticed on the leaked images i was wondering what what is that but that's uh that's your uh, radiator or your coolant uh reservoir and uh like i said you could go to the face to the TikTok page and you could read the comments and check this stuff out for yourself so kind of like the front and the rear the passages focus the passages the, the main passages on this thing on the coolant flow of uh, the coolant flow on the passages is around the exhaust uh valves so that's where most of the heat builds up your exhaust ports the exhaust valves uh you have intake valves and you have exhaust valves and the exhaust valves are typically the hotter ones and like i said the front cylinder the front jug that exhaust valve is faced towards the front of the bike so the max amount of airflow is on the front cylinder front cylinder so this is why the rear cylinder seems to be the main focus so you can see of course the buildup of the coolant uh, the overflow and how it vents everything you can check out the video and here's your electric uh, pump as well this only activates or the coolant activates at a thermostat right towards the front and once it hits a specific temperature or it's or the engine is on for 120 seconds it activates the uh, the coolant so you know that's kind of like my sportster i have an oil cooler same same system uh it activates at a certain amount of temperature that way you're not waiting you know five to ten minutes for the engine to warm up which you know it's just it's neat it's a neat design you can warm it up in about two minutes you know four minutes if, if that's your thing and you don't have to wait around too long because of uh, you know the cooling or the coolant is is uh, is is doing its job keeping the engine cool. So uh, let's go ahead and look at 
the uh, the old uh, system here. Like I said, uh, you know, Harley didn't had they, they didn't have to redesign or R and D a new system. I think it's pretty cool what they did. Uh, they use what they already have, uh, the same you know passages on their old system on the limiteds. Uh, it's pretty much the same. You can see that the passages are focused around the exhaust valves, but instead of of course you know directing it into both of the both sides of 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 uh, of, of the jugs at the same time, because you, you can see that uh, there's a split off right here. That they both that they go into the rear and they go into the front and then they work back up to you know this other connector and then that comes down over to your uh, radiator which is right here and then that flows back and it comes back out cool right on this side and then the pump does the job and then shoots it back up to the heads and then that you know splits off into the front and the rear so uh harley like i said harley didn't have to re or research and develop a new system they just, you know, moved this little hose and moved it to the back and then redirected it. And uh, yeah, just pretty much the same. You have the passage. This is not connected. This goes in there and then it comes out right here and uh, on the on the new system. So pretty unique. Uh, like I said, this is something that they've been doing since 2014, I believe. They've been they've been running uh, liquid uh, coolant on on their V twins on the limiteds. Not only is it, of course, liquid cooled, it's also oil cooled and it's also air cooled. So these uh, these 121s are, are going to run, you know, a lot cooler. They're going to perform a little bit better because they're running cooler. You don't have, you know, you don't have oil hitting 220 degrees or 200 and uh, 240 degrees, which is you know pretty high for uh, most most uh, oils. But um, yeah, I'm. I like what they did with the uh, with, with the cooling system. I'm, I'm a fan. Uh, you know, you have bigger displacements. You have a 121. You're you know you're you're running that uh, RPM wise. I'm not, I believe it's still the same, but of course you have bigger parts, bigger bigger explosions. There's going to be more heat, and uh, you know just uh, the comfort of the rider. Performance wise, you want to run these engines a little bit cooler. They're going to they're going to extend the life of the engine. And it's going to extend the life of your oil. So it's a plus plus. I like what they did. The overall design, it's not too bulky. It's not too big. It flows in nicely with the front of the bike. I think the uh, the, the road glide looks a little funky because of the, the, the you know, the cutoff of the lower and into the uh, the spoiler of the front end. It just doesn't, it doesn't blend in as well as the uh, street glide, in my opinion. Uh, that's what I believe. But uh, you, you guys can check this out. Hopefully this video helps you out a little bit understanding on how the uh, on how this uh, this new cooling system works. So thanks for watching yet another video. You guys stay out there, stay safe. Um, life's a risk. Get out there and ride. Later.